Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Uh, today we will be looking at an open source uh, community tool uh, called uh, Scapo. Uh, so Scapo is an open source community tool uh, used for managing the uh, container images uh, that are hosted on the remote repository. Okay, so this tool uh, helps uh, in uh, operations like uh, like we can use it to inspect inspect our uh, image uh, which is uh, hosted on the remote repository. Uh, we can also use it to copy uh, the image from one repository to another. So all these operations uh, we can do without actually downloading the image locally. Okay. And also, like Skypo uh, is a standalone tool. Uh, it doesn't require uh, any daemon as such to uh, run its operations. Okay, so this is a basic overview of uh, what Skypo uh, does. So uh, today we will try to see uh, these operations uh, 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 in uh, uh, in our in our uh, local system and uh, how we can use it uh, to manage our uh, images okay so i have already documented uh, some steps uh, so i'll be referring uh, this uh, uh, like document uh, to show you how we can use the scapo tool okay so as a first step uh, we need this scapo uh, to be installed on our uh, local uh, machine so this is very simple uh, uh, like to install uh, Scapo. So we just need to uh, do dnf install Scapo. Okay. So this this is going to install like I already uh, have installed this tool. So it is going to just show like it is already uh, available on my machine. Uh, so you can also uh, install with uh, the simple uh, like installation step. So as you can see, uh, there is, this package is already installed on my system, so I can use it directly. So uh, if at all this is not available on your machine, you need to uh, install it and uh, start using it for managing the remote repositories. Okay. So as a first step, like we have installed the Skypo tool, and then. Uh, we need to actually uh, manage the remote repositories. So first step uh, to manage the remote repositories is we need to authenticate into, uh, to the remote repository. So that can be done uh, using the login. Okay. So Skypo login helps in uh, like uh, connecting uh, to our remote repository uh, with our authentication credentials. Okay. So we can do uh, like Skypo login and we need to pass the registry uh, to which we want to connect okay right now like i have already uh, connected to this uh, repository so uh, it is showing as authenticating uh, with the existing credentials so uh, in your case if you have not already connected to uh, this uh, repository uh, as a first uh, 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 step it will ask for the username and password once it is uh, successful you will get a message login succe succeeded okay so once you are connected to your repository you are good to manage your repository uh, like uh, repositories uh, which are available in the registry okay so so any tool uh, like uh, whichever we want to use uh, the best way to learn uh, it is using the help uh, com uh, help uh, utility that is available with the tool. So it will uh, show you all the uh, options or all the uh, commands that you can use uh, with the with the tool. So let's see what operations or what commands we can run uh, with this uh, tool uh, using the help utility. Okay. So as you can see. Uh, this is the help uh, output of the Skypo. So, as I mentioned initially, uh, Skypo can be used to copy images from one repository to another. We can use it to delete repo uh, delete images from the remote repositories. Okay, and uh, the third one, uh, basically, it is inspecting the image. So, without downloading the image, you will be able to inspect inspect the image. Uh, you will be able to get the details of the layers uh, and the uh, 
uh, OS, uh, what is used for this image. So all those all those details uh, you can get it from inspect command. Okay, and uh, the fourth one uh, you can see a list tags. So basically, it will show you all the tags which are available for a repository. So as you might be aware. Uh, whenever we are uh, like uh, pushing an image uh, to a remote repository, uh, we specify the tags. Okay, so tags is basically uh, a kind of versioning uh, that we provided to the image. So that all uh, tags can be listed uh, using the Scapo tool uh, without actually downloading the image. So this will help you analyze like what all tags are available for a particular repository. Okay, so these are some operations that you can do. Login, logout. It is already uh, straightforward. Uh, like I have already shown you, uh, like how we can use login and uh, uh, like logout. You can just pass Skypo logout. It will disconnect you from the repository. Okay, so this is how uh, the help utility uh, will be useful. So always it is uh, good to uh, first try uh, check the help utility. Uh, so you will get a better idea of what that tool does okay so let me clear my screen here and uh, so uh, we'll try to do some operations with this uh, scapo tool so first operation that we will do is uh, we will be trying to list the tags available in the remote repository okay so right now uh, i have my git uh, like i have my docker hub repository uh, available so this is my docker hub uh, repository i have to repose uh, that is novice java one hello and novice java one apache web so we will try to see how we can list the tags uh, for these uh, repositories okay so let me go into my uh, shell skypo let's do help so I want to do list tags. Okay, so let's do scapo list tags help. So this is the best way, uh, like you can understand what what commands or what options we need to pass. So as you can see uh, in the usage, uh, list tags uh, requires some com uh, command options along with repository name, repository name. Okay, so repository name is the one that we need to pass. Uh, let me try to pass one repository name, uh, like my repository name. So first we need to do Docker. So that is the protocol. Protocol. Then the Docker registry, uh, which we want to connect. Then Novice Java one is the repository. then my uh, uh, repository name that is hello okay so let's try to connect to hello and see what all tags are available in this okay as you can see right now it is showing two tags are available for this image in my remote repository okay so you can see it uh, here also like uh, let me go into this hello uh, repository and you can see in the tag section it will show like it is showing 1.0 and 2.0 tags are available so it has two tags uh, which are available so it is showing the two tags when we list the tags so this is how we can check the uh, tags which are av currently available in the image so let's let me try for another uh, repository also uh, which i have that is apache web okay Okay, maybe I have passed uh, incorrect name. Let me check my name again. Okay, so I have missed Apache E. 
Okay, let me clear my screen and rerun it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, for this repo, I have only the latest type. That means, uh, like uh, when I have pushed this repository, I haven't mentioned any uh, tag name. So by default, uh, when you don't provide any tag name uh, for your image, uh, it defaults to latest. So that is why it is showing the latest tag. So this is how we can check the tags available on the uh, remote repository image. So uh, let me clear my screen and let's try to do some other operation with Skypo. So the next operation uh, what we want to uh, see is uh, we will inspect the image. Okay. So inspecting the image is uh, basically the same thing as list tags, but we need to pass the inspect command, uh, inspect command in place of list tags. Okay. So let me do uh, uh, the same command uh, like instead of a list tags, we will pass the inspect command. Okay, so it will try to inspect uh, the remote repository image and it will show the details about the image. So here you go, uh, you'll, you can see uh, like what is the name, digest. Uh, repo tags all the details are available uh, with, with with this inspect command and what are uh, all the layers are available uh, for this image okay so this is how you can inspect the ima uh, image without actually downloading the uh, uh, the remote repository image onto your local machine okay so let me clear uh, my screen here and uh, uh, we'll see uh, the third one which is a bit uh, uh, important or uh, uh, interesting uh, like here uh, i'll show you how we can copy the remote image uh, with a different name uh, different tag okay so basically this uh, this operation helps in copying the image from one repository to another but right now i do not have any other repository uh, uh, like uh, uh, on which I have my uh, like uh, uh, credentials uh, 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 like I do not have any uh, repository uh, which uh, I do not have any uh, repository uh, wherein I can log in and uh, try to show you uh, but uh, I, I'll just show you how we can use the copy operation to just copy the image for, uh, within the same repository with a different tag okay so this is uh, this is how we can do uh, skypo copy so let me do skypo copy and uh, we need to pass the source uh, so here uh, we have only latest tag so i'll give latest and let me copy it with a different uh, tag name uh, which will be our destination okay so i'll pass 1.0 instead of latest so uh, i'm going to copy my uh, like apache web uh, remote image uh, to 1.0 uh, tag uh, like basically the same image with a tag 1.0 okay so let me copy this one and see what exactly happens Okay, it is trying to copy. Uh, okay, so uh, now done. So you can see like our uh, uh, image uh, like has been copied with 1.0 tag. So you can see uh, like we can uh, like list tags uh, like as we did uh, previously. Uh, like we can list tags for this Im image and see what all uh, tags are available right now. So it should show uh, like latest along with that 1.0 uh, like which we copied right now. So you can see uh, 1.0 and latest both are available. And the same thing you can validate uh, here also. So let me go into the Apache web.
okay uh, i'm going into the tags of this uh, repository image so you can see there is a latest tag and there is a 1.0 tag that we just created okay so this is how uh, like we can use the scapo tool uh, which is very interesting and uh, uh, it is easy to install also like it doesn't need any uh, daemon or uh, like you can run this tool uh, with a non root user also there is no need to run with a root user so you can try out uh, that uh, option also so uh, this is uh, this is going to help you manage uh, your remote uh, repository images so uh, very easily so that is all uh, i wanted to show you uh, in this video i hope uh, you have uh, uh learn something uh, uh regarding the skypo tool and uh, uh, i hope you can uh, use it uh, with podman builda and skypo so this uh, these three uh, tools are uh, very useful uh, like uh, to, for uh, container management and uh, build operations so you can try to uh, use them to build your images uh, run them push them uh, to the remote repositories inspect them so all these operations we can do with uh, just these three tools installed on your system okay so there is no need of uh, uh, physically docker or any other uh, tool like uh, which uh, which actually needs a uh, privileged access uh, of your system okay so yeah uh, that is all from my end uh, thank you all uh, thank you for watching this video and i hope uh, uh you enjoyed watching this video and uh, we will uh, meet up again uh, next week uh, with some interesting topic okay thank you